Henry Cooper, the most popular figure in British boxing. At 36, fits skill, experience, and the famous left hook against the strength of Jose Otain, and attempts to win the title he's held twice before and never lost in the ring. Well, one expected this Wembley crowd to be partisan towards Cooper, but they really gave Otain a rough time when he came into the ring, and there was a lot of booing against the Spaniard, whose signature was so difficult to get on the contract for this EBU title fight. Cooper attempting to win the European Championship for the third time. And Cooper, five and a half pounds lighter than Otain, but some three inches tall. Cooper, 36, and Otain, 27. Otain, who's lost only one fight in 35, and has won all his fights bar one inside the distance. And it's cost promoter Harry Levine 68,000 pounds to bring this fight to Wembley and of that, Bertain will get more than 40,000 pounds. And Cooper's looking to put the left hook in already after 45 seconds. The Spaniard well outreached. skill, experience and the left hook on Cooper's side and strength and youth on the side of this burly ex-rock lifting champion Spaniard Jose Manuel Ibar Urte. He comes from the Basque country near San Sebastian. Henry careful to keep his head well away but he's got cut. Cooper's been cut after a minute and a half on the left eye. The old bugbear for Cooper, and it's happened already. It happened in that clash of heads there inside, and Cooper knew it instantly, because he put his hand up, and he puts it up again, and he sees the blood, and he knows only halfway through the first round that he's got to live once again with a cut. And the blood now begins to run down and the crowd begin to see it. And that's the eye that's let him down so many times. Now Henry needs the left hook and he needs it quickly. He's really got to go to work with the left hook now. And a right hand catches him just above that injured eye. And we've got less than 30 seconds to go towards the end of the first. And Cooper in real trouble with that eye. And Cooper really having to weather a sticky patch here, waiting for that bell to go so he can get repairs done to the eye. So the Cooper corner and Eddie Thomas in particular who's been brought in as cuts man, Eddie Thomas, the well-known manager, has really got to do a job now on that left eye, the one that has so often been the cause of trouble to Henry Cooper through 16 years as a professional fighter. Cooper, 36, tonight having his 54th professional fight, he's won 39, drawn one and lost 13 and some of those lost 13 have been caused precisely by this sort of injury. And Jim Wicks looks pretty worried. The balding manager at the back who's been with Cooper ever since he turned pro. Henry's brother George outside the ring leaning over. And Eddie Thomas now. We'll see what sort of job he's done on that injured left eye. So Cooper comes up for round two with that injury along the left eyebrow. They've stopped the bleeding and there's a big blob of grease hanging down from the injury. And 
Cooper now has got to quell this strong bull of a man from the Basque Country with some really efficient and competent punching with the jabs and the left hook. He's really, really got to go to work. Again, those heads crack as they come together. The shorter man, his head comes right up against Cooper's face. Cooper looking for the big punch, but the timing's not quite there yet, and he hasn't quite made it click. Oh, there's a low punch for the left hand of Bertain. A really, really bad low punch and he doesn't get caution for it. Just like Piero Tomassoni in Rome did to Cooper. The jab going to work. And there's some blood on Ertain's face and he may be cut himself or it may be, it may be, glove off, it may be blood off Cooper's face. There's a little cut inside the nose of Ertain on the left-hand side, just between the eye and the nose. And these are critical early rounds for Cooper. This could be one of the hardest fights of Cooper's whole career. So Henry Cooper, cut in the first round, has survived two rounds with the cut. And they did a pretty good job on it because it didn't bleed very much in the second round. Jose Manuel Iba Urtain, 27 years old. He's had 35 fights, won 34 and lost one. The only one he lost was on a disqualification to Alfredo Vogrieg of Italy. And again, the grease smeared heavily on Cooper's injured left eye. The injury on Ertain's face, quite negligible, and doesn't even show now. Ken Cooper at 36 contain the tremendous strength of this ex-rock lifting champion, Jose Ertain. That is the story now that we must wait to see the result of here at Wembley, and Cooper really has got a tough fight on his hands. needs a lot of those jabs. That left hand must keep poking into the Spaniard's face. He's got to draw the strength out of him and just line him up and get him ready for the left hook. And Cooper got that left hook in there in close quarters two or three times before they were ordered to clinch, uh, to break from the clinch. strong man against the skilled man and you wouldn't like to bet right now on the winner it's a hard fight and it's a rough fight too minute to go in the third and so far this is Cooper's best round he's handled it well the jabs have gone in and he hasn't taken very much
Well, one thing already we're certain of, it's no pushover as was so freely predicted. Absolutely no pushover for Cooper. In fact, he's fighting now to save being defeated with this injury on his left eye. There's the bell, and that was a tremendous left hook that Cooper caught Ertang with as the bull from the Basque country came at him, head down, he was caught with a really cracking left hook. Here we are now, we can see it again, that was the punch as he came in, head down, one really cracking left hook, and he clung on for dear life. And Cooper comes up to this one looking a lot more composed and calm than he did earlier on. cracked heads again there. They're time warned for holding his man. Cooper moving nicely inside those swings of Urtain. Cooper knows very well that Ertain's head can do him a lot of damage inside there and he's keeping his head away from Ertain's quite, quite well and quite cleverly in the clinches with a little bit of help from the elbow as well occasionally. Good punch from Cooper but he caught him I think on the breastbone. Looked on the chest. Place slowing down. Cooper's beginning to work this man over very effectively. The man standing up to it so far. I felt that uh, Tame would be at his most dangerous in the first three or four rounds. And if Cooper comes through these, then he should be able completely to outbox Ertain. What a good left hook to the body. And Ertain's having to soak it all up. Ducking, ducking too low. Bernard Masco, French referee cautioning him about that. And Ertain's beginning now to blow a bit. Well, that's easily Cooper's round, and that again is a good round for Cooper. He's had two really good ones now, the third and the fourth, and he's moved right out in front. And they're a bit slow putting their gum shield into Ertain's mouth. The eye injury completely patched up. A really marvellous surgical job that Eddie Thomas has done on it. Always a good punch to the body, a left swing, and he caught Henry off balance, but he got it in as well. But Henry gets up and there's no count. And there's the left hook to the chin. really going for him now with the left hook to the head. What a battle this has turned out to be between the old veteran and the strong man from the Basque Country, who's now bleeding very heavily from the nose. Ertain bleeding very heavily from the nose. Head up, second time he's been told about that. 
Looks to me as though Cooper might have busted his nose. Busted Ertain's nose, that is. The Spaniard now is going to find it very hard to breathe. His nose is in a really shocking state. And Cooper's got another cut, and he's got a cut somewhere else this time. I think it's on his right eye. Round five, and Cooper's worried about another cut, and he's got his back to us, and I can't quite see where it is yet. It's on the right eye, so he's got a cut on the left and one on the right now. So once again now, Cooper finds trouble, and having apparently got through the worst, now he finds himself right up against it again in the fifth. the bell and once again Eddie Thomas must do some work this time on the right eye Looks to me as though it's just underneath the eyebrow so now a cut on either side of his face and he really couldn't want much more of a handicap than that Eddie Thomas calm he's done a really superb job on the other one now can he do the same sort of job on the cut over the right eye Bertain, badly injured around the nose in this slogging battle between the veteran and the awkward Basque. The bleeding has been stopped. Bertain holding. Well, if Cooper gets through this fight now and wins it with cuts over both eyes, it really will be a most extraordinary performance. Ertain's big up at round six. long range in this sixth round. timing of that left hook not quite there again speared him with the left jabs couldn't make the hook get home <laughs> Cooper's done what he had to do in this run that was to keep this man right away from those eyes speck of blood on the left eye of Cooper, neither of his eyes bleeding badly at the stage. Stumbled. Ertain still looking dangerous. And Ertain is still in it, he's still there, and he's still strong. Six rounds completed. And this man is giving Cooper all the trouble that Henry could possibly want tonight. A lot of people predicted that Hurtain wouldn't go three rounds with Cooper's left hook. 
Well, he's gone six and he's still very dangerous. Ertain still looking strong and very dangerous. This is the round that he knocked out Peter Weiland of Germany to win the European title earlier this year. Round seven. And he's only once in his life been further than seven rounds and that was when he went 15 with Jürgen Blin. Henry Cooper in his last fight in March in this ring had to go 15 rounds with Jack Bodell and again tonight the left hook isn't really getting home often enough Henry has to take one to the body in order to get his own left in That's a good right hand, one of Cooper's rare right hands. So seven rounds completed now. And Cooper's still looking quite strong and still moving quite well. Now there's a little bit of a cut on Ertain's left eye, which they're treating. It's not a bad one, but he's got a nick above the left eye. So now there are three cuts around the eyes between these two men. So now Cooper and Ertain are both cut and Ertain is cut slightly over the left eye. goes 15 rounds then one would think that the odds must be very heavily on Cooper's side because he must surely be able to outbox this man over 15 rounds you've got to admire the guts of the Spaniard at times he's had a real boxing lesson he's soaked up a lot of good punches he's never been down and he always comes forward I don't think he knows to do anything else. Head again, umpteenth portion. Beautiful, spearing left hand from Cooper. And I get the impression that Ertain is feeling this very much more than Cooper is at this point. Completely wild, completely wild swing. And that's the head, and this time he gets a public warning. The two judges are advised about that. So they can subtract marks now from Ertain's score. And his nose is beginning to bleed again, the Spaniard. He's having a rough round in this one, but still plugging forward gamely. And if only Cooper can protect those eyes from getting any worse, he should now be able to outbox this man. The Ertain corner pulled that man out. Ertain wanted to carry on, was prepared to come out for the ninth and the corner said, no, you've had enough and Cooper stands up in the middle of that 
ring with all the commotion going on about him and Cooper once again is the calmest man in the whole of Wembley and so the bull from the Basque Country Jose Manuel Ibar Urtain champion only since April this year has lost the title here at Wembley